Hello everybody, it's me, Mr. Scary Muffin. I am still alive. We're back. In fact, uh, yes, you guys might have noticed there's been about a little bit of a lull in the videos I've been putting up uh, since like January to March. There's about a three month delay and before that, like before the Pokemon stuff, there was probably a much bigger void of videos. Um, and I have to apologize for that. Uh, th Consider this video kind of like a life update about what's been going on in my life as well as a channel update and what's going to be going down with the channel coming on up. We'll start with the uh, the life update. Those guys who don't know if you guys haven't followed the uh, the Chain World videos. I don't even know when those came out. It's a while back now. Um, but I've been working at EA for like over a year now. And yeah, that's been keeping me pretty busy. Full-time job tends to do that. Uh, when I come back home, I usually not really in the mood to do any recording kind of stuff um, and it's probably the main reason why I also haven't been streaming a lot either uh, additionally you know I had a few things that were going on at the same time uh, we had the Pathfinder thing that was going down every Wednesday uh, with myself to muffins Bunsy Munchmo and we were playing that and I wasn't really uh, recording or anything or streaming anything I just ran that stuff and now that's over and we filled in that Wednesday night slot uh, with CTM stuff, or just general Three Muffin Moon shenanigans. And uh, as a result, you guys are seeing some of the video footage from that as well. Um, other than that, I think full-time job tends to do a lot of stuff. Before I was working uh, at EA, I was uh, a freelancer. I was doing video game journalism. I was doing board game design. I was doing a lot of stuff. I was working from home, generally. And that's why I had a lot of time to make a lot of videos for you guys to watch. Um, it's because I, you know I could dictate whatever I want to do stuff. When people get back and they're available to for collaborations, it was a lot easier to schedule those collaborations because my flex my schedule was very flexible at the time. And now it's less so. And I live in probably one of the worst time zones I think, uh, other than like being in Hawaii. I imagine uh, the Pacific, the West Coast uh, time zone is not really friendly because it's it's terrible for uh, some of the East Coasters, because by the time I'm, you know, done with dinner and stuff like that, they're ready to go to bed. Um, I definitely kind of have a hard time trying to record anything with people from Europe and from Australia and from Asia. So it's just generally not a great time unless I do a collab with somebody who lives West Coast as well as myself. Um, but yeah, uh, we are going to be continuing on with Three Muffin Moon stuff in the channel. That is for certain. Um, the UHC, the, the cynical stuff, I just wrapped up. Um, I'll probably be doing a little bit of that here and there. Uh, generally, it's whenever Ginger asks me uh, if I'm free to do something, and I'm like, hey, yeah, sure, I'm free. And then we arrange it and we'll do it at that time. Otherwise, I'm not going out of my way to find UHC stuff to do. I know that's uh, not 100% what people like in this channel anyways. Uh, but that is, you know, always an option to do some spectating. I love casting anything in general. I would cast Pokemon, TF2, uh, Minecraft stuff as well. Uh, there are some other Minecraft tournament stuff. I know uh, Merit Badge and uh, Chai Man, they're running something. They wanted me to do some streaming for that. So I was more than willing to go for that. And I know Ginger also has his uh, Twitch Twit UHC League thing going on. And I'm doing some random streamings. Of that as well. Uh, TF2 wise, you guys are watching our first uh, thought stock in TF2 in a long time. I think about like six months even. Uh, not gonna say that I'm always gonna do them every week. Uh, generally, I've, I've got a little bit of footage stocked up. Um, mainly, I've been playing in pubs recently, and some of the footage is kind of hit or miss. It's sometimes a blowout, and sometimes it's like the team just not getting their stuff together. It, it's just you know, it, it is what it is. And I will try my best to find some good footage for you guys to do. And then I'll talk about stuff over that. My worldview in the past year has changed a little bit. And I do want to share some of my new thoughts with you guys. Uh, my insight in video game industry, game design, um, that kind of stuff has also uh, matured a lot as well. So I wanted to share that with you guys as well. Um, so... Definitely, I do intend to do some thoughts talking to you too. It might not be regularly scheduled. Just be whenever I get a chance to do that kind of stuff. I've got some footage recorded, so I just need to record the uh, the voiceover kind of stuff and get some practice doing that again, I suppose. Um, 
Pokemon stuff, I recently did fairly well in a Premier Challenge in BC. I got second place in a tournament. Um, currently, I am top 16 in Canada, top 13 in the BC area, which kind of means that like the top 13 uh, of the top 16 in Canada are from British Columbia. It, gives, it shows you how strong the BC crowd is is uh in regards uh that's in championship points i haven't i've yet to play in the regionals which is probably why i haven't um jumped that high in the points as well i do intend to go to seattle regionals so and play in that one instead of judging which is what i normally would have been doing so we'll see how i do there and hopefully i'll come back with a lot more cp and try to break into the top 10 area but i do have those games saved up and I have an idea of how I want to present them to you guys, not just a straight up uh, commentary, but I also want to go through the turn by turn, uh, kind of like information revealed, and give a little bit of insight of how people are thinking about uh, the game at certain points, or at least how I think about the game in certain points. Uh, I do have a series that I've been working on since November, uh, which is the Pokemon for Slowpokes. I've recorded all the voiceover stuff for the first three episodes of that, and I just need to put together all the clips, which actually, surprising, uh, is one of the more difficult things to do. It's a lot. It's very easy to do, write up the script and, and record that. It's very difficult to throw together all the video clips um, to associate with that because it's not just uh, a, a game, a single game or anything like that. It's me pulling from various sources and editing it and actually doing editing which is not exactly the most enjoyable thing to do I, I wish somebody else would just do it for me it would be amazing because I'm lazy like that um, <clears throat> there's also uh, I mentioned the Pathfinder stuff is done uh, if you guys remember not last year but the year before that I put up a kind of like a sneak peek video of Minecraft Pathfinder uh, that we did and if you want an idea of how those clip stuff mix in with the, the game footage works, that's basically the idea that I'm going for. I have all the video footage for Minecraft Pathfinder for the very first uh, first kind of mini adventure that we did with K-Hunt. And then I also have one with the first adventure arc, kind of like the story arc that we did with Munchmo. I have all that stuff recorded. It's on my computer. I mean that's uh it's floating around there but i don't know if i'm gonna get to it anytime soon um it's there anything beyond that first story arc is was not recorded because we didn't play it in minecraft we just played it on basically uh, a site called row d20 which is just like a grid on the page and then i just threw up a copy of the map and we just kind of moved little drawings around uh, not as exciting for sure uh, but the minecraft stuff Anything that I built in Minecraft, uh, we, I recorded that, and it's on my computer, just haven't done anything with it. Beyond Pokemon TF2 and Minecraft, naturally, um, I have tried out a little bit of Battlefield Hardline. I did preview the... Uh, I previewed the single player mode when they were asking for like some feedback during development, and I really liked uh, the stealth play in the game, so I was thinking like I would record it. I tried it a little bit earlier on uh, recording just myself playing through the single player mode and I suck at driving. <laughs> also my energy level at night was kind of low and so I kind of threw out that first recording. I might try it again. I don't know. It's a little bit late now. I'm not really first to market anymore. Let me know guys. Would you guys be interested in seeing me play Hardline? If not then I'm just gonna play by myself. I also have Dragon Age uh, Inquisition that I just it's by my computer desk and I have yet to even install it into my computer it's kind of a waste but I don't know we'll see um, let me know if you guys are interested in seeing me play other things right now but for the most part I'm gonna stick to the normal guns that I have and if I find something that's semi interesting I might tackle that as well um, I am interested in seeing uh, Talos principle I've watched day 9 play but his computer kept crashing so he eventually gave up on it so I only know like part of the game and so I'm kind of interested in seeing the rest of the game and solving the puzzles by myself um, who knows might give that one a shot as well anyways that is uh, basically the update um, streaming wise I'm probably not gonna have any sort of regular schedule I contemplated it for a while contemplated doing like a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday thing because Wednesday we're going to have CTMs and that I definitely stream 
Um, if whenever, you know, we get stuff, where muffins are currently moving, so last week we didn't do one, but, you know, it's coming. Tuesdays I was going to do, like, TF2, and then Mondays I was going to do, like, Pokemon stuff. But then, I, you know, like I said, my energy level is kind of low when I get back home at night, so that is <laughs> that's the way it is. So I, I don't want to uh, commit myself to anything regular just yet. So that is the channel update, and that is my life update. How are you guys doing? Let me know what's been going on in your life. Been catching up with uh, some people, especially since Rix Rixion is back doing his streams as well. So I've been catching up with some people as well. I'm interested in hearing what everybody has been doing. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me so far. And thank you guys for continuing to watch everything. I hope to be able to produce more for you guys. And uh, like always, leave a comment below. I love reading comments. I will see you guys next time. Ciao.